What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Reach video. As you guys know, in the last video, we hacked around Afton's secret boss fight, and uh, we found some pretty interesting things. We, we deleted some things, we made we made Gregory gigantic, and Glenrock Freddy gigantic. It was like two mechs fighting each other. It was crazy. We're going back in today because, well, I'm going to be showing you guys some secrets in the daycare. Oh my god, no, no, no. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Um, if you guys remember, which I only showed this on like one video a few videos ago, there's a secret in the daycare that if you actually try to re-enter it, something crazy will happen. And we're going to be hacking around the daycare, because as you guys know, you can't actually access that after you've been in there one time. But there is that secret room with that glitch trap minigame that we're going to be checking out too and just hacking around it and see if, they, see if we can find anything underneath the theater too and stuff like that. It's going to be fun. But of course, if you guys want a chance to win a copy of FNAF Security Breach, all you have to enter is so you leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below saying whatever you want, and hit that subscribe button. It really is that simple and that easy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the hacking. All right, so currently, we're leaving Montgomery Gators Golf Course because uh, I just spawned in there. That's like my safe spot. I don't know why. I have the most random. I have like one at Afton's boss fight, one there, and then the rest are like random. By the way, we are on a new version of the game, which the interesting thing about this update is they got rid of, I think, this, the, the glitch where you can get like all of the security guards or security passes where you can have like, you know, 10, 12 of them. That glitch is now gone apparently, but I have a save that still has them all. So... I'm kind of interested to see, like, what happens if I go back to that save, you know? Like, will I be able to use the security passes still? Or, like, will the doors not open anymore? I don't know. I kind of want to test that out. Now, they also updated some other things that I don't exactly remember what they are, but I'll read them in a second whenever we get over to the daycare. But let's actually head over there. Guys, while we're approaching the daycare, I figure let's go ahead and read through the notes here. So here's the update right here. Update notes for December 23rd. Fixed an issue where some users were un unable to interact with a recharge station outside of parts and service. Fixed an issue with Freddy being available too early when exiting the sewers. I think we might have done that. I don't know. Fixed an issue with users not being able to interact with arcades. Fix an issue with a mission objective repeating itself and not properly updating. So there's quite a few of them that do that, I think. So I'm hoping that's the one that I think it is that they got rid of. Uh, moved two retro CDs due to issues with Freddy. Oh, this is exciting. With Freddy being intermittent, intermittently accessible. They've been pulled out of L chips and prize counter and placed elsewhere in the world. Ooh, so they finally, I knew those CDs were there, but I figured I wasn't gonna get them until they updated it and boom, it's already updated. So they've now hidden the last two retro CDs somewhere else in the world. We gotta find those though. Fixed an issue with security badges being available multiple times when they're not supposed to. So yeah, there's that one that I was talking about that has now been fixed and uh, you can't do it anymore. But that's cool. Man, we should look around for those other CDs. I don't know where they would be, but I, I don't know. Like, let me leave your best guess in the comment section down below. I wonder if anyone's found those yet. Because, I mean, they could be anywhere. My guess is probably like the sewers or like the kitchen where Chica is. Just because I feel like that's got to be something. But, oh, what? Oh, okay, I got inside Freddy. Um, yeah, I heard him behind me, so that's what confused me, but, all right, we're at the daycare now, and, uh, let me show you guys, now, I showed this a few days ago, um, and, I, I don't know, like, at the time, no one had seen it yet, I don't think, like, it was very well hidden, but now I think it's kind of all over YouTube, but check this out, okay, so, if you hop out here, and you go to the slide, and look at this. Security alert! Security alert! <laughs> So yeah, if you try to go back into the daycare, you cannot. He, gets, he gives you a security alert and just goes woo and disappears like you guys saw. Now, what's interesting about this is if I go ahead and hop inside of Freddy, I don't know how you would get this upgrade because there's a flashlight upgrade right there. See, inside the daycare. So how do you get that without glitching? I feel like unless you can go through the door down here, let's try that. I don't think there's any way back inside the daycare. So how would you get that upgrade? Like, is that upgrade you're just not allowed to get it? Which then again, I think there's an achievement where you get all the upgrades. So you're just like, you're not getting that upgrade, I guess. Or maybe they'll update it later on where you can do that. I don't know, unless this door opens, let's see. Okay, so this door right here, does it open? No. Okay, so if we get out of Freddy, can we get inside this door at all? Or is that upgrade just, yeah, no, I think that upgrade, you literally just can't get it. And maybe they'll update it later on, or maybe you don't need that upgrade for like the 100% achievement. Or, yeah, there's another way. I don't know. All right, well, for right now, let's go ahead and hop into the debug camera. And uh, let's have a look around here. Now, let me go ahead and increase the gamma to four so it's a little bit brighter for you guys. And let's head inside the uh, the daycare here and have a look around. All right, so in terms of the daycare, I thought maybe you would see, like, Sun walking around here. I think that'd be a really cool feature to see him just, like... Because even from out here, imagine you see Sun in there just walking around. And, like, if the lights randomly go out, like, you see Moon in there. That'd be crazy, but... Here's the upgrade. It's right there. So literally inaccessible, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I know you can go up here, but you can actually jump off of that. Oh, look, if you go up here before it's loaded, you guys can see that just the service bots are here and nothing else. But the hallway is back here. Ooh. So, I mean, if there was other secret hallways, we'd be able to see it. Like from, you know, just glitching out of the map like this. 
but here's the room and then the hallway and stuff like that. It's nothing really too crazy. Now, I do want to know if we can actually glitch our way in here. So there is a teleport feature um, with this menu. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let's try to teleport up there. It's a little bit finicky. Like, I don't exactly know how it works, but let's see if it, we can get... Oh, oh, where did I just... Okay, what? Uh, I'm in. I, I think, yeah, I'm in. I'm in the daycare. Oh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> okay, well, we broke inside the daycare during the day. We are definitely not supposed to be in here, but this is cool. All right, so wait, can I get the... Let me see. No, I can't get the security pass again. I thought maybe that'd be another way of getting it. You got the error on the save since we're on my other save where... Uh, yeah, I saw the error. I don't know when they're going to fix that or if they even will. Um, but yeah, check this out. So we can actually go around in here. And obviously, I mean, there's really nothing to do in here. But it's kind of cool that you can actually go back in here if you glitch through it. Uh, I do wish, like I said, I just wish, like, if Stu was watching this or, I don't know, maybe, let me know your, your opinion on this in the comments down below. But don't you guys think it'd be cool to just have sun walking around here during the day? I feel like that might cause a little bit of FPS problems, potentially. But if it doesn't, then just imagine seeing him, like, walk through here. Like, you can just look through the, the, the glass right there, and you just see him walking around here. And then, like, sometimes the lights will just glitch out, and they'll turn off, and then you, he turns into moon. And he starts, like, jumping around, like, looking at you through the glass. I just think that'd be such a cool feature. But, uh, yeah, this is inside the... Oh, look, you can run around the ball pit, dude! You, you can run around the ball pit as much as you want whenever you glitch the game, all right? <laughs> there you go. Well, that's fun. All right, let's go ahead and get out of... Actually, wait, how am I going to get out of here? I wonder, can I just go to the door and it'll open? Or actually, where's that slide that... This slide right here. What did that say? Wait, that... Oh, distract. Wait, what? Moon's talking. He's saying clean up, clean up. But he's not here. All right, let's try this one. Yeah, he says clean up, but he, where is he? I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, it's just like a visual bug or whatever. Because, you know, we're not supposed to be in here. Duh. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check this out right here. I did want to see if we can... Can we jump off of this? No. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, right here. Can we get... Oh, no, I want to see if we can get back up there. Okay, now I'm going to end up breaking my game. So, yeah. Wait. Oh, wait. Can you climb? Because in the other one, you can crawl. Oh, my God, dude. These balls are so loud. Yeah, you can crawl back up it. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. This is so weird going through this. Oh, look. It gets too skinny right there. Dang it. So, this is where... Imagine Sun just, like, meets me in here. That'd be terrifying. But, uh, yeah. This is where Sun crawls up through and tells you that you can't come back inside. Very interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and teleport back out, though. How exactly do I get out of here, though? <laughs> I have to figure out a way. Okay, dude. I got to go over the bridge right here. There we go. It's a lot more complicated than it looks. Look, they even have, like, a little kitchen here. I never noticed this. All right, so can I teleport? I want to see. Can I teleport up there? Let's see. Oh, you can. Oh, and we're out. <laughs> it's just that easy. You just jump over the wall and you're done. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I would gr grab Glamrock Freddy, but I don't think we really need him. I want to glitch into this elevator and see if this is ever going to be actually usable. Let's see here. Okay, so no, this isn't an elevator at all. Oh, wait, no, there is one here. Yeah. I mean, I think that'd be kind of cool, but it's kind of unnecessary because it's faster to just take the stairs. But if this was like a shortcut from the the bottom part of the map, like the... Oh, no, it's not. But if this connected to like the underground part and you can like take that up to here, that'd be very useful. Like, I would like that a lot because then you could skip the uh, whole atrium and stuff like that. But still, I mean, the elevator is here, so that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and go... We got to make our way over here. I got to go back out of debug mode because it won't spawn it if I don't. Well, let's go ahead and go over here and uh, over to the Fazbear Theater because I definitely want to try to hack in under that and like into that secret room. Because currently, whenever we tried it before, it wasn't loaded, so we couldn't really do anything there. Okay, so here we are at the theater. Look at him perform and do the service bot. You get an achievement if you shoot him, so... There you go. <laughs> Sit him with a few of those. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what's behind the theater screen. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's nothing back here. Actually, there's like a little screen. No, it's just like an extra screen. But yeah, nothing here. We go over here. Nothing. Oh, wait, well, you have a room over there, but no, this is nothing. So that connects obviously to the hidden door. So if you did this before, you would know that the store is here. But obviously, I told you guys, I never hacked until I beat the game and did everything. So I would have no way of knowing that was there. But if you did it, you could find that door easily. All right. So what about underneath? Okay. So nothing down here spawns unless you get really close, which like I said, it all makes sense because without that, you know, the game would have horrible FPS, which I don't know. Maybe that's what the game was doing at the start. That's why the FPS was so bad when the game first came out. But I don't know. All right. So we got to head into this room if we want to see what's over there. Whoa. Oh, I thought I broke the screen. All right, let's go ahead and head into... No, 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 no. Okay, I got him. That was a good shot. All right, quick, let me in. All right, let's go ahead and get into here. I'm going to show you guys something cool in here, too. Because you can actually go up there if you wanted to. But first, let's head in here. Let's go ahead and turn on debug camera mode. Okay, so in terms of in this room, 
We just have the box top right there, nothing there. Above the room, you've got some, some spider webs, nothing crazy. Kind of what you expect, you know? Nothing really here. Um, in here, absolutely nothing. So, yeah, there's nothing hidden in here. I think if, they, like, they wouldn't put anything out here after, like, last time when I hacked around FNAF Help Wanted. I, I'm sure they saw at least one of those videos. If not all of them, I don't know. I'm sure they at least watched one. So they probably were like, okay, with security breach, we cannot have anything outside the map. Fusion will find it along with everyone else. So... Do not put anything outside the map. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's still cool regardless. Oh, look, there's stars over here on the wall. Huh. Wait, why are those up there? Why is that? Yeah, those don't even, like, show up. I don't know why those are up here. I guess maybe for at night they show up. Like, during the night sequence. I honestly have no idea. Or maybe, like, a certain angle you can see them. All right, but let's go ahead and toggle debug camera. Let's go back out here. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So, you can actually get up here, unless they patched it. Nope, let me... Right here, and then right... Nope, okay. It's kind of hard to do, but hopefully I don't get stuck back there. Okay, dude. Hold on. There we go, right here. Okay, you can jump through here, and then boom! Now you are on top of the daycare. And this one doesn't require any program or anything. You just come up here, you know, you just get behind the poster, come up here and jump through this wall right here. It's As you guys can see, I'm sure they'll fix this to where you can't go through this eventually, but for right now... Look at that. And now you can't actually jump off. I tried. I wanted to do it, but you just can't do it. So <laughs> it's just a cool little thing. Like if you just want to go up here and get a view of everything, it's pretty cool. Which once again, it'd be even cooler if moon was down there or sun was down there walking around, you know? All right, but let's go ahead and go back this way. Let's head underneath the theater and have a look around there. That's where all those endos are. And I don't know where they come from. Like, why are they in this theater down here? You would think they'd be like underground only because they're spare endo suits. Like they don't they're not used anymore. Or they're not used yet. So like why are they down here, you know? Alright, so here we go. This is where things are gonna go bad. I think they're activated like all the time. I don't know. Let me see. Are they alive? No, I thought they activated, but no, I guess it's only if you grab this gift box back here, which obviously we already grabbed, so they're not gonna be active. Alright, just in case they do though, I'm gonna face this way and we're gonna toggle debug camera. Here we go, under here. Okay, so, I wanna know why this was here. Cause this is literally just a death trap up here. There's nothing up here. Like, if you come up here whenever these endos are active, you're just dead, cause they will just trap you here. But there's a ball pit here, which I found to be interesting. Is it connected to, no, it's connected to nothing. Yeah, why is this ball pit here, I wonder? Like, what's that for? Cause like, you would think they wouldn't have a ball pit underneath the theater. No kids would come down here. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just where they, like, get extra balls. Or, oh, maybe this is where the balls are cleaned from. Yeah, look, sun and moon. It goes down from the one up here, which won't load in. It goes into here, and then they're, like, cleaned in there. Or, like, and then you get, like, fresh ones or whatever. Okay, I get it. All right, back here, we've got nothing. Over here, nothing. Behind all the cutouts. The next show... I wonder what the next show will be. <laughs> Has anyone sat through all the shows to see what they are? Because I know the first one's like the comedy show, but like, what's after that? All right, toggle debug camera. We're done with that. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, wait. Let's make... Uh, where is it? Uh, change size. Let's make giant Gregory, because that's always fun. Wait, I should be able to... Yeah, I, can crouch under, <laughs> I can crouch under this door. <laughs> this is always fun to do. What? I can't stand up in here? Dude, look how big the ceilings are. All right, let's, let's have a look at uh, Giganto Gregory right here. There he is. Dude, you can definitely stand up in here. If you guys haven't seen this one, this one's always fun. I really wish I could, like, stomp on animatronics and, like, they'd go flying, you know? Like, we're just, like, a giant, like, Godzilla. <laughs> but, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything because I'm still, like, normal size. But uh, it's it's fun to do regardless, you know? If I had Freddy here, I could obviously uh, do a mech fight with him. But, all right, we're back down to normal size. Let's go ahead and use this just in case. Make sure no one's active. Let's go ahead and make our way back up here. Okay, so where should we hack into next? Let me have a look. Oh, wait. Why is it? Oh, my God. They're alive now. What? They do? What? Now they're dead. Wait, what? Why'd they come alive for, like, that split second? I'm so confused, dude. Are they alive? Look, they're making noises. That's weird. Oh, look. Look, he's alive now. Now he's deactivated. What is going on? That's weird. All right. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to hit you guys one of these to go, and then I'm leaving. Yeah, look. They, they're making a bunch of noise down there now. That's creepy. So they are just, like, always alive. But I, I guess they, like, pick and choose when they want to attack you or, like... <laughs> I don't know how that works, but that's creepy. All right, let's get to a safe spot and let's check out our map here and see where we can go next. That's my—that's the update I'm looking forward to whenever they update the map to make it more clear where you are. 
because this map is yeah not not the best um yeah even looking at it, like i don't know what any of this is like this is the atrium obviously this is the show stage right here and then the back room into rockstar row um where should we go though i'm thinking should we do the rockstar row or like let's just do like the main atrium and just see if we can find anything in there because I feel like there's got to be something in there. Okay, no, 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 no. Not today, buddy. Did I even... How did I not get you? What? I thought he zoomed in a circle because I hit him, but I didn't even hit him. Wait, what? How did that not hit? Okay, dude. The, the camera's always been superior, all right? The camera... Literally, you don't even have to aim it. You just shoot it and it just... It, it hits them. Okay, that guy got me, of course. All right, let's go ahead and head in here. I don't think there's anyone around here anyways to, like, actually come after me. So... Wait. It's playing music. Is there someone... No. Okay. I thought it was playing like the scary music for a second. All right. Out here, though, absolutely nothing here. There is a wall here? Huh? Why is. Oh, no. What? Why is this here? There's a gate down here. I don't know when. When did we use that or when would we use that? Yeah. There's one in here, too. Oh, and there's a bag in there. But. Huh. There's a wall in here in this room. But I never. What? Does that open? Hold on. Let's go down there real quick. Is that a wall that's like... I don't think that's a wall that's like accessible from down here. There's no way it is. Oh, look. That's the Fazcade. Oh, so maybe this is going to be like a shortcut. Wait, does this... Oh, wait. This opens. What? I don't think I've ever been in here. Oh. Have we been in here, guys? You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe in like one of the earlier parts we did, but not from what I can remember. All right. Let's grab this note, though. Even though it's not going to tell me... Yeah, I have too, mo too many of them. Easy money. My cousin worked here. He said magnet screw. Oh, yeah, that's old. Um, out of order. There's no record of a PQ3 arcade yet. Yet there's a cabinet tucked away in Phaser Blast. Phaser Blast. Won't work, though. Sometimes I hear it in attract mode, but I've never seen a single image displayed. Too creepy. Leave it where it is, at least until I play part one and two. Uh, oh, okay. No, they're yeah, they're talking about Princess Quest 3. But I was thinking, like, that's not in... Wait, how did they find that? There's a cabinet tucked away in Phaser Blast. Sometimes I hear it in attract mode, but I've never seen a single... Yeah. Wait, so unless Vanny wrote this, that means someone found Vanny's room that said Vanny on the wall and had a bed in it, and they were just like, oh, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> like, what? Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I guess someone found Vanny's room at some point and just was like, yeah, this is perfectly normal, you know? Someone named Vanny living inside the pizza plex. Nothing to see here. All right, let's go ahead and toggle debug camera. Is that where the wall is? Yeah, what? Th there's a wall back here. Okay, so I think at some point they're going to open this, right? Or they, an original, like, an original plans, they had this open up into the atrium or somehow? I, I mean, this must have connected to it because there was a wall here and then there was another, yeah, there's another wall here. And where does that lead to? Huh, that one wouldn't connect. But this could 100% eventually be opened into, like, a way of going to the atrium at some point, but... Or it could be for something else, maybe DLC or something. But that's very interesting. There's just a, a hidden wall back there. Or a hidden door, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and go into the atrium, though, and uh, check out some stuff in there. Now, we still have a lot to do, though. So I'm going to go ahead and start whenever we get there, though. All right, guys, we're heading to the atrium. And I'm going to go ahead and fly right now. So I want to see what this looks like. Okay, so when you go into the elevator, there's Gregory right there. Oh, it doesn't actually hold the camera. I guess that makes sense. And the elevator doesn't actually move. So obviously, this is just like... It's just a way of, yeah, waiting for the map to load, I'm assuming. Yeah, so that map disappears. And then, oh, it's loading in. Yep, and then this map loads in. So wait, the whole map is loaded, but we're still in the elevator. Huh. That's weird. Why is it? You would think it would get you off the elevator as soon as it loads in, but I guess not. Because I heard people complaining about the elevator load times. Like, oh, man, the elevator takes forever. That's kind of interesting that, like, the map is fully loaded, but it keeps you on there for even longer. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Maybe it's like it's loaded, but it's still like, I don't know. You're not, it's not accessible until like a few seconds. I don't know how it works, but let's go ahead and go into fly mode and let's take a look around. Oh, what's this? Celebrate. Can't read a word that says, but that's interesting regardless. All right, let's go ahead and head down here. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Actually, I just thought about something. I wonder if this will work. So if I go here, I call Freddy, right? Oh, but this could get me killed. Hold on, let me see. So if I go inside Freddy... Because it will have his vision. Then we toggle debug camera. Do I still get to keep... Oh, I do. Okay, so if you want to find the CDs, this is an easy way of doing it. You go in this because then you can just fly around and you can see the CDs. Actually, I don't even think I would need to like... 
like have the rooms loaded. I think I can just see them through the walls, really. Like as long as I'm close enough. I guarantee the CDs are probably down here. What's this over here, by the way, though? And look, you can still see Freddy Fazbear's battery. So like you would know when to, to go back to his suit and jump out. But I don't know what that's connected to. All right, let's go ahead and head back though, over here. Toggle it again. Let's go this way now. Let's have a look underneath. Do we have anything down here? So that's the main pipe thing to go underground. This is this area. Oh, by the way, I never noticed this, but this says band on it. You know why it says band? I was like, oh, what is this supposed to be? This is the daycare. So this connects into the daycare because that's why it says band because you got banned from uh, sun. Yeah, see, look, you got banned from sun and moon. So th that's why it you know, has like a little sad face. So maybe eventually this would be opened up, but I, I doubt it because we got banned. So how would you be able to get back in there? Now, you can get inside this lighthouse, which is interesting. It'd be cool if you can actually use this door, but looks like, you know, they lead really nowhere. And then back here, we've got nothing over here. Yeah, this is Monty's obviously nothing here, though. Um, this is, oh, this is the way to Rockstar Row. So that's why there's doors, those doors are there. We have anything over here. So this is behind, oh, there's actually generators back there. That's interesting because you'd never see that. Yeah, but there's two generators here, just one, I guess. Up here though, we have nothing. There is a door back here. It looks like that's potentially a door. Lights and stuff like that, nothing up here though. And then we go ahead and go this way and let's have a look around. Let's see. So this will take us to Roxy Raceway. So nothing there. Yeah, Roxy Raceway again. And then it looks like over here, we've got nothing. That's the door that we went into. What's this? This is a room? I don't know what this is. I think this is that room, right? Yeah, this is, no, this is behind that. So this is that, that level 10 staff only door that we went into and it teleports you into the bunker thingy like underground um, where, you know, Glamrock Freddy originally takes you. Oh yeah, that, that's interesting. There's something behind that. Okay, we're getting low on power. Let's go ahead and teleport back. But yeah, I didn't see anything back there, so. I think I'm going to end this video here, though, guys. Overall, you know, we got to find some new things. We got to find some secret doors and stuff like that. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So if you guys have any ideas for where I should hack into next, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to be Bonnie Bowling to hack behind those, like, curtains where, you know, Foxy is supposedly supposed to be. And, like, I don't know, Bonnie, maybe we can find him in there. I doubt it, though. But, yeah, let me know any ideas you guys have, and I'll hack them in the next video, and we'll check them out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Hit subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.